here with Nicholas, who works in tech with DreamHack. And he's going to tell us a little bit about how it is to set up the technology at the world's largest LAN party. So, can you tell me, first of all, what's like the biggest challenge in setting up an infrastructure for a place like this? The biggest challenge is going from empty halls to a place populated by thousands upon thousands of people. Because there's a lot of infrastructure we need to do. Um, we can't rely on Wi-Fi for people, we need actual cable infrastructure. So there's a lot of work getting all the cables and getting all the equipment. Uh, we have 133 switches on for this event uh, that we had to mount cable and run uplinks for and power and all that stuff. And we also in our function have the power delivery. So we also do power delivery for this. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of equipment. There's a lot of gears connected together that needs to be set up. So yeah. we have a lot of stuff that goes from nothing, goes from pallets to equipment along the halls, a lot of infrastructure to build from nothing. And everything has to be reliable as well? Yes, it does. Okay, um, so previously in the past, DreamHack has actually taken the world record for world's fastest internet. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me how fast is the internet this year? Uh, this year we're doing a small event, so it's not that fast. Uh, we have a 20 gig uplink to the internet, so it's not much, but it's uh, more of it's what we need for this event. All right. Um, and this is where you all work in tech, so yeah. basically can you show me a little bit what happens here? Yeah, um, a lot of stuff happens here. Yeah. Um, this is our tech roof, we have a lot of stuff around here. Um, we of course have all our personal belongings, we have bridges for sodas and stuff like that because uh, long week we need sodas and uh, we get some long nights and sometimes when you have stuff we need to get done and get working. Um, but we have four teams, or five teams. we have Power Patrol, we have uh, for doing power, we have um, logistics who are our internal logistics functions, they handle all the stuff going in and out and do all the functions because we have stuff we lend to the other functions during the event. Um, we have Core, who stands for the core part of the network, so they interlink to most the ISP. And they do, the, they do everything from the core to the distribution layer, where it connects to the access layer. We have the access team, which is uh, my team, where we actually mount the switches on the tables and connect them to the distribution layer. So, yeah. Okay, so if anything goes wrong, this is, uh, it's panic mode in here, right? Nah, uh, we're calm. Um, we, we don't panic, there's no reason in panicking, it doesn't help with the issues. So we can take it calmly, we fix the issue, figure out what's going on, and that's it. So, All right, <laughs> wonderful. So is there anything else you want to tell the people about tech at DreamHack? Uh, yeah, I, I'd like to take a second to think about um, or talk about um, that tech is a really, really good group, and there's a lot of DreamHack, it's a really good crew. Um, I've been here, this is my third event and it feels like being a part of a family here. It's not a crew, it's not a volunteer job, it's a family. We have fun, it's a fun event. So we have a lot of stuff to do, but we make it fun while we're doing it. Okay, really cool. Thank you so much. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the switches that actually power DreamHack. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Why don't you tell us? Yeah. So we have two cabinets here. Uh, this one is our networking cabinet, and this is our server cabinet. We have some servers we need to run, like DHCP, DNS, and stuff like that, and monitoring and monitoring our network because we of course need to make sure everything keeps working. We have a map um, that I can show you, um, and it shows us map, just shows us what's going on, what's on the map. But in a network in here, you have you have the internet in, you have the main routers. And you have some distribution stuff for uh, both uh, the uh, servers and for out in the hall. Really cool. So we can tell these are fiber cables. Yeah. We have fiber cables to all of the different switches that are placed. Um, Where do those actually go? So everything from the pop, uh, which is this is the pop or front of presence, uh, goes to fiber beyond this um, because of capacity. Because everything out of here is uh, 10 gig or higher. So it's more than 10 gig speeds. So everything here, but uh, up to the pubs and the uh, tunnel holes uh, or a B hall, it's only 100 meg for uh, distance. So they have 100 meg opening each. And there is a cover gig link from that up to distribution. And the distribution layer then has a 10 gig link in here. 
Okay. But in C Hall, where you have gigs, you have, just, yeah. you have 10 gigs to the table. Okay, so that's the premium you're paying for. Yeah, there's a premium for the gigs, which is normally it's divided into sections where you have the premium and you have the premium with gigs, which is and stuff like that. For this event, we only have one area that's all over there once. Okay, really cool. Let's take a look at them. Yeah. So you have this panel here, where we have uh, the fiber incoming from an uh, ISP, and it's coming in from using something called DVDM, so some special uh, optics. And then we have the two main routers. These two are actually the main routing for the whole setup. So, and then we have down here at the bottom we have a bunch of stuff for uh, setup. We have some servers that we use at the start of the build up to uh, get the network working, running while you're building up and so we can get that right into uh, function. And then we have some connections for the data center at the bottom. Alright, really cool. So What's the job of the servers? The servers are mostly to serve network functions like uh, DNS, DHCP, and monitoring, okay. and several uh, functions other than that. Yeah, pretty, pretty hardcore setup for basically a DNS server. Uh, well, you can call it a router, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do some network services that we need. Um, it's also a really cool concept because it's uh, um, something called OCP. Our open compute platform. It's a special setup. So, so they're not like uh, your generic servers. Yeah, no, I can tell. <laughs> really awesome. Okay, once again, thank you so much. No worries. Okay, here's the back side of the servers. That's a, a lot of fiber. Let's get some light. Let's yeah. Become prepared. Yeah. Uh, when you're at these events, you have all, all the stuff you need. So you have lights and knives and uh, carters and stuff like that. Because it's you do use it for setting up the stuff, so like zip ties and stuff like that. Of course. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Yeah, so we need it. Um, we try to not use it too much because we want to be able to uh, tear down quickly. Okay. So we, we spend quite a few days doing a build up here, but the tear down is only like eight, ten hours. Wow. It's not that long. So most of it will be gone um, tomorrow at ten. Okay. And most wow. of the all the active equipment will be packed away. Hmm. So. It goes quite quickly when we're tearing down. Yeah, so it's more difficult to set up, I can imagine. Yes, and you have the patch plans and stuff like that where we need to couple things correctly okay. and stuff like that. So we have to make sure everything's connected correctly and we have to mm -hmm. test everything and clean everything. So yeah. all this is fiber, so it needs to be cleaned and something like that. And you can get a bad fiber we need to inspect and stuff like that. So there's a lot of work doing it. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, really cool. Yep.